Hello, I'm Carlos Prieto, and uh, I'm here to tell you our story. Uh, in the summer of uh, 2008, uh, life was good. Uh, me and my wife had been married for several years. We had uh, a five-year-old girl, Kayla, and a two-and-a-half-year-old, Alex. And um, we were enjoying life, enjoying our children. Um, on the day of Kayla's fifth birthday, uh, my wife was always very diligent about uh, doctor visits and so forth, so uh, we got ready to go to the to, you know, just a regular doctor visit on her fifth uh, birthday. Um, and uh, while she was getting dressed, Grandma came over, as she usually does, and she noticed a small bump on Kayla's back. Uh, so she suggested we had it checked, and, uh, and so we did. Uh, we went to the doctor. Um, the doctor uh, ordered an MRI, and uh, consequently, uh, she found something that she didn't like. We were called into her office, and she looked at us in the eye and said, we found a large tumor on Kayla's back. Could be cancer. Uh, she said, uh, you need to go to Memphis, send you to Memphis, and you need to leave now. So uh, our lives uh, changed dramatically. I. I Sometimes I think that our lives uh, were turned upside down, but, but in reality, they were not turned upside down. Um, we happen to be believers, and uh, there was so much prayer and so much support from friends and family. Um, and um, we, I, I personally thought, okay, we, we're going to get through this. Um, so uh, she immediately got in touch with the doctors at St. Jude. It took us 30 minutes to drive from the doctor's office to our house, and by the time we got to our house, we started getting phone calls from St. Jude, uh, telling us that uh, they were aware of our situation, when we were coming in, what we needed to do, what we needed to pack, uh, and all sorts of directions. Um, um, and all of this information, this is all so overwhelming. Um, so. We set out to go to St. Jude, and uh, the the next couple of weeks were uh, pretty intense. Um, we didn't, I, I didn't think we belonged there. You know, we, you just don't want your child to go through anything like that. That would have given anything, uh, you know, to change that situation. So the next two weeks were uh, pretty difficult, uh, diagnosis, doctor visits, uh, neurologist, uh, uh, uro you know, all sorts of different doctor visits. Um, and then at the end of the two weeks, we had diagnosis. Uh, Kayla had uh, what is called a uh, ganglioneuroblastoma. It's a solid tumor. It was wrapped around her spine. It was inside the spine with a larger mass uh, on the lower left abdomen. So uh, three rounds of chemotherapy came by um, over the next uh, three months or so. It, it was pretty difficult. Kayla never got really sick, but you know, her hair started falling off and, and so forth. And, uh, and uh, you know, that was, that was a difficult time. After the chemotherapy, um, they decided to go in and do a surgery. Um, so the attempt was to remove the entire tumor and it was going to take two separate surgeries. Within uh, a week or so, she had a fairly delicate uh, back surgery. Um, and that removed the portion of the tumor that was wrapped around her spine and it was inside the spine as well. Uh, and then a subsequent uh, surgery, uh, abdominal surgery, to remove the rest of it. So within a couple of weeks, uh, she had been, uh, uh, you know, the, her healing had begun. Today, she is a, uh, you know, happy 12-year-old, and uh, life is once again good. I am happy to report that, and uh, we enjoy our children. Uh, she's. Uh, She's a very uh, active uh, uh, young lady. She's a, uh, uh, 
She's a tremendous violin player. Uh, uh, you know, she, she likes uh, <clears throat> she likes uh, playing other instruments as well, but the violin is uh, is her main instrument. And uh, we're looking forward for the rest of our lives once again. You know, there were two predominant thoughts in my mind. Uh, number one, I wanted to get the best care for Kayla. And number two, I was concerned about how I was going to pay for it. And uh, St. Jude was able to fulfill those two issues right away uh, because we had the best care in the world for her. And, uh, you know, we, we, we'd never seen a bill from St. Jude. Yeah, that's, that's, that's incredible. And um, we are just so thankful. We are so thankful for St. Jude, for our friends, for our family. Uh, we, we couldn't have done this without them. I'm Kayla, I'm 12 years old, and I've been a St. Jude patient for over seven years. Don't give up. It's just the weight of the world. Your heart's heavy, I, I will lift it for you. Don't give up, because you want to be heard. If silence keeps you, I, I will break it for you. Cause you